Hey guys, Garrulous Mondering here. So <clears throat> yesterday, a buddy of mine called me and he wanted to hang out. And so I ended up hanging out with him the entire day. So yesterday I didn't do anything productive, at least not in terms of educating myself. I suppose you could say it was productive in terms of keeping my sanity, which is always a good thing, of course. Uh, but today it's back to the old grind. And so what I just spent the last hour and 20 minutes doing was going over different computer components that I need. And I've got a sheet here that has a lot of the pieces of information and sort of questions and answers that I've got for building a computer because I'm trying to figure all of that out. And admittedly, I'm not very good at it yet, but, you know, I'm moving in a direction quickly or slowly. I can't say for myself, but I'm moving anyway. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and share just a really, a really short list. I want to share a really short list of all the things that I'll do it this way that you need for a uh, for a computer. And so is this a um, is this a comprehensive list? No, probably not. Would be cool if it was, but it's probably not. I'm sure I'm missing a few things. But these are some of the big things that you'll need for your computer. So the very first one you need is a, a CPU, which is like a little chip. It's literally no bigger than one or two of your thumbs put together. It's very, very tiny. And the two producers of those, the two big name ones, are Intel and AMD. AMD is typically chip, uh, cheaper, and I guess that means that Intel is better, but what do I know? So, first one. The next one is the mother motherboard, and I'm not going to pretend like I understand how motherboards work. This has got to be by far the most complicated thing of the whole array of things that you can get if nothing else because it seems like there's so many out there as well so I'm just going to gloss over that one next one is you have your HDD or SDD this is basically your memory storage system uh, where your information gets saved the brain of the computer so to speak and so uh, without going into too much information you, can, you know HDD is a hard drive SDD is called a solid state drive I, if I remember correctly so those to go next one you need is a heat sink and a heat sink basically keeps the CPU cool. Uh, you also need a cooling system, and I don't know how this works, but the two ways I'm understanding you can do it are with tons of fans or with a water cooling system or both. If there's anything beyond that, I'm not aware of them. Next one is an optical drive. This is basically the thing that reads your DVDs. Nothing too complicated there. Then you have your RAM, and I admit I don't understand how the RAM works. Not very well. Uh, but as far as I can tell, the computer only really needs somewhere around 8 gigabytes. And a, a stick of RAM is literally just like a bunch of, like a long stick that you put into the motherboard. And, and, um, and it helps the computer run and do stuff. So there you go. Next one you have is the graphics card. And admittedly, most people don't really need like a really good one. Most motherboards, as far as I can tell, come with one pre-installed, which means you can't change it, but you also don't have to worry about it because it comes with motherboard. So for those of you who want simplicity, this may or may not be something you need. Next one you need is the uh, PSU, which is basically the power supply unit. And this determines the voltage that you need for the computer. So how many volts... Uh, your com or watts, I think, actually, I think it's watts. But however many watts your computer needs, you need a PSU that can provide all of that. If it can't, then the computer simply doesn't run. And so uh, you have to take into account all of these things and um, how, much, uh, how much power they require before you end up getting a PSU. Uh, then, of course, you need a case that holds all of this stuff. And uh, I, as far as I can tell, you want to get all of this stuff first before you get, uh, before you get a case because you want to make sure that all of this will fit together before you kind of like buy a case and then try to fit it all in there. So that's why I put the case down there. Then you have the monitor, of course, and I haven't bothered looking up anything for the monitor because I don't care myself uh, about monitors. Maybe I will later on. Then the last one you need is an operating system, of course. And so uh, the biggest operating system that most people end up using is Windows 7. Of course, Windows 10 just came out recently as well, but you need an operating system for your computer for one reason or another. Uh, so that's the whole spiel there. Here's the board again one more time. And that's all the stuff that you need for a computer. Again, this list is by no means comprehensive, but it's a fairly basic list of all the things that go into a computer. So much simpler than it is when you look at it because all of the difficult stuff is already pre-manufactured by the engineers, which means you don't really have to worry about it too much. So that's the cool thing about it. So... And so that's why I spent the last hour and 20 minutes kind of putting together and trying to figure out what to buy, what do I need, and stuff like that, putting together a list. So that's how that goes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit brain dead, probably do some flashcards, because I'm a little tired of researching right now. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes.